a quick description of the loop antenna I showed briefly during the previous Remembrance Day contest video. It's actually an oblong just because of the materials I had available. It's about 40 centimeters across the top and about 80 centimeters high. The white leads, of which there are four, is four turns for the tuned part of the loop that resonates with this variable capacitor near 160 meters when the veins are almost all the way in and up here near minimum capacitance it resonates around 4 megahertz so works on both 160 and 80 meters there's a single turn which goes to this BNC connection which is then coax to the transceiver. The single turn is a coupling loop. It is parallel to the main windings. The spacing here might be a little bit too much. This is a difference between the loop antenna, admittedly it's just lying on the deck, and the outside antenna. Definitely stronger as you'd expect, much more surface area to pick up the signal. But there can be times when there's more noise on the bigger antenna and your signal to noise ratio, which is really what you want, is better on the smaller antenna. The bigger antenna here is a top-loaded vertical, so the ladder feed line going down it is the radiating element. It's a bit crude because the top, which should be a flat top, actually slopes down towards shorter masts at either end. You can hear the directionality of the antenna. The variable capacitor here would have a maximum of about two or three hundred picofarad. Yeah, they're really knocking them around. Don't know what Dad used them for, but there they are. Two of them, not just one, but two. 